Seasons After Fall. So I got a code for this game, I want to say years ago. I think I wanted to do a series on it at the time. And so I was kind of saving it. But now it's been so long and I keep not getting to it that I think I should just... I should just get around to doing like a one-off episode on it just, you know, to use the code and not let it rot forever. Because I feel bad. I believe it's a puzzle platformer. Not technically indie, because it's published by Focus Interactive. Oh, that's me. Oh? Roots. Oh? Is that good or bad to do? Am I snuffing out the life of similar organisms? Oh no, I'm putting them here. That was apparently necessary. Hmm. I did not know what to expect, but this was also, this was not within what I expected, for sure. Oh, that's a solid barrier above me. Almost seems like we're going for a little bit of like how, uh, that one game started the evolution game that, oh man, what was it called? It was such a big deal at the time. Partly because when it came out it was a disaster and everyone was like, This isn't what I wanted! I never played it. I only needed two? Now I'm just killing indiscriminately, aren't I? Can I kill them with explosions? Nope. Y, B... Ooh, that was a little dash. Well, that allows me to move a little faster. And by a little, I mean massively faster. Speed run! Okay, there's... Now they're just gonna keep spawning, it looks like. What is happening in this game? <laughs> I'm going so fast. Ah, take this atmosphere. Oh. I have escaped through a mysterious plant sphincter. What does my life become? And when do I play as the fox, presumably? a long time to wake up, Little Seed. If the Guardians were here, they'd give you serious reprimand. If you sleep too much, one day you'll lose yourself in your dreams and never wake up again. Yeah, that's exactly what the Guardians would say. But, luckily for you, I'm here to greet you today. And I'm much younger than them, so I won't lecture you. <laughs> hey. Our second guest has arrived earlier than expected. Let's see who it is. 
little seed. In honor of this special day, may I introduce your present? Oh, a wild fox. Ugh, it's better than nothing, I suppose. I would have preferred a smarter and better looking animal. A wolf, maybe. Still, you know what? It doesn't matter. We'll make do with this one. I was not anticipating voice acting at all. Am I going to wait? Am I going to become a parasitic? Uh, is that fox about to become my parasitic host? That's concerning. Did that oh, dear. they were just described Don't as being afraid. my presence? That's alarming. Gently. Hey, not too close. You'll frighten him. Let him come to you. Do I just hang out? Do I hang out in the middle of the water? All spooky like? Oh. Now entice him to the center of the sanctuary. Entice. I'm enticing you. That's it. Into the center. I'm just I'm trapping a fox so that I can take its body. As far as I can tell. This is really slow. Come on, we're not going to eat you. Are you sure? Stay there, little seed. Leave the rest to me. And hey, presto! Now you have a body, you'll be able to visit the Guardians of the Seasons. I have no choice. I must stay here. So, where do I start? Hmm. Oh, I know. If you follow this path to the east and travel beyond the tall grass, you'll come to the edge of the woods. This is the domain of the Guardian of Winter. It has something I need, and you alone can get it for me. You'll realize what it is when you see it. But I won't give the surprise away. <laughs> I think this is the premise of The Last of Us. Except it wasn't whimsical about it. I'm like a cordyceps seed fungus, and I'm infecting my host. Run, jump, enjoy your new body. Your new body that belonged to a different organism. What buttons do I have? What is this night? What is this plant? How does this happen? So far I can jump and I can bark. Ooh. We're blooming things. Wonder if the I wonder if the pollen heals you? Or if you can even take damage. I really am going into this blind. Okay. Was not ready for that. So we have mega jumps. Is this Oh, nope. That was the back that's the background. I thought that was a Sonic the Hedgehog style loop de loop, and I'm like, what in the world? Jump. I'm not sure if there's anywhere to go here. Well the audiovisual presentation's nice. It's just a chill, it's just a chill time. I'm not sure what the gameplay is yet, though. And narratively, I think they just want me to screw around right now. So I assume we're going to find multiple bodies then. I kind of thought you might just play as a fox, but I'd assume that we actually get a variety of bodies if we're playing some kind of seed that can possess individuals. We probably get a bunch of different bodies that have different capabilities on how they navigate the environment. In particular, I think there's a bear on the Steam page. I 
I caught you. I caught you. You can't trick me. You see these totems lining the path? They were sculpted by the Guardian of Winter. Interesting, aren't they? But it can't have been easy with such big paws. Don't say too much about them when you see the Guardian. It might get upset. About his big paws? Is self-conscious about having big paws? Or the or the carvings? Are they waking up when I turn my back to like make it a secret? Or are they just activated by, by, by being in my proximity, period? Can I go higher? I don't think- I don't seem to have a double jump or anything surprising. Ooh, does that echo? I think that extends my bark. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's super useful. And I think it's gone. <laughs> hmm? What are you? Why don't you react? Got it. Can't get back up. Okay, well, never mind. I guess it just points back out. Does it does not seem like this is going to be a game where you get tight platforming challenges cuz there's a a whole like a there's time dedicated to the turning around animation. Like, you can see when I start turning around, because my character does that first initial tense up at the beginning of the animation. Like, you can tell when he goes from his idle animation to the turning around beginning of the animation. So that's, that's how long it takes to turn around when you press the direction you're not currently facing. So it's probably going to be a chill game all the way through. That or any challenging parts might involve, uh, by which I mean like skill test as opposed to puzzling or something, will probably involve running in one direction away from something, perhaps. Just due to the mechanics of how the character controls. Not seeing anything around here. Can't jump that high. Wait, did I go over this before? I haven't been here before, have I? Oh, there's the bear. He pieced right out of that exchange, didn't he? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, says the fox with zero sense of self-preservation. <laughs> what are we gonna do with you? Hang on, don't go too far ahead. I sense you're on the way back, little seed, with a fragment of winter. I think it's trying to communicate with you. It may react if you bark. Bark twice if it's a bit deaf. 
Oh. We just outright transformed into a different season where this, presumably this plant works differently or something? Oh. How do you work? Um. Okay. That allows me to proceed. So it spits out a giant ball? What do these do? These are the ones that didn't respond to me before. So I need to bark twice in order to change seasons. So they made it so that normal barking doesn't change seasons. They also made it so I shouldn't spam it the way it was before. Which is something I'll do when you give me a button like that. And they remind you how to change seasons, because whenever I bark once, it barks twice at me. To remind me of that. Because if you forget how to do it, then a player would instinctively double tap in response to it, to it double barking, and think that that's how you proceed. Is the idea here that I need- yep. Go back to spring. What do you do? So whenever anything's frosted over and I can't proceed, go to spring. And I can continue. Then switch to... Really back amazing. to winter. You're quicker than I thought. Just goes to show, you can't judge a book by its cover. The fragment's heading towards the sanctuary. Don't let it out of your sight. So now everything that I approach while... No, it's leaving... Everything I approach while I'm in winter season will now transition into... Uh, a winter state, which means many things will wither that were healthy in the spring time. Can you, like, explode or something? You shot, you shot stuff before. Uh, nope. Is that the trigger point? Are you, supposed to are you supposed to bark next to that? I think so. I think that's- I think that's actually the firing button. Oh, you, or you just jump on it. Oh yeah, you jump on it and a thing goes through the whole vine. I didn't realize that's what happened last time. I was wondering what caught it- what, what exactly caused it to launch. withered below me. All of the special climbing vines no longer work. But certain things may work now that didn't work before. No. I can just climb. It's fine. Ooh. Is this the place I'm taking them all to? No. Hmm. It looks like a person in a cloak, surrounded by... Honestly, just virtually anything. Grass, trees, mountains. Winter told you anything. Ugh, you have to excuse it. It's always very tired. And, between you and me, a tad grouchy, too. The Guardian is so bad-tempered that even the animals don't venture into this forest. Guardians may appear wise, but basically, they're very old. So old that they tend to talk rubbish. But luckily, they're here to protect the fragments. They just have to learn how to let go of them. Give me a ball. 
Yeah. Oh, almost messed that up. <laughs> yeah. Level defeated. So far, pretty whimsical, undemanding game. Ruh row. Is that the bad? Is bad happening? Look, little C. The fragment's already in place. It's waiting for you. Move into the center. Go on. Don't be afraid. And what's going to happen here? Is the, is the fox going to earn its freedom? Some of these areas just are so large. Okay. I'm going to have to separate you from the fox. The fragment may react violently during the merge process. I'll be as careful as I can, but it's still a tricky procedure. I think it would be best for the fox to get out of the way. since we've seen snow here. Now it's winter for good. Well, here's someone who sure hates ceremonies. You should possess the fox again before he escapes. <laughs> that just makes it dark. Quick, before he escapes, take away his free will once again. All right, well, this is Seasons After Fall, which so far is winter. It's what, it's what we've done. Hey, I beat the game. Roll credits. It's winter now. That's the season after fall. We did it. It, it probably... The game probably started in fall and you probably do winter and then autumn. I'm sorry, winter, then spring, then summer, and so on. A common theme in, in artsy narrative video games is going through the seasons and everything. Uh, feel free to check out the link in the description if you want to try out this game yourself. Thanks for watching like always, and I'll see you next time.